Hello and welcome to this episode of Healthy Shift Worker TV. My name is Audra Starkey and I'm the founder of The Healthy Shift Worker and I help shift workers and organisations improve their health and wellbeing through online programs and workplace wellness seminars. Now in today's episode I'm going to talk about gut health or how to improve uh, our gut health when working 24-7 because digestive distress and discomfort is definitely very prevalent when we work irregular hours. Now, of course, there could be a myriad of reasons why you might be experiencing this. But in today's episode, I want to talk about something that is kind of not really spoken about much yet can have the most profound impact. And that really comes down to you asking yourself two questions is to how much and how often or when you are eating. Because when we work 24 seven, we tend to have, kind of get into the habit of eating 24 seven. And over time, this can actually set us up for a whole host of kind of different uh, health complaints. But I wanna kind of get back to the kind of when, I'll talk more about that when side of things um, first. And the easiest way to do this is to kind of explain it in a bit of an analogy. So if you were going to work, or say, let's say 2 a.m. and you're driving along the road, it's pitch black, and then all of a sudden you could see the road in front of you was half closed. There were police everywhere, they'd kind of blocked off the road, um, and there were workmen kind of resurfacing the bitumen, you know, with equipment. So nobody could kind of get through. Now, what's happening here is because, you know, they're repairing the road because of that constant traffic that's been going over and over and over that road. So, about, you know, over time, holes would have, you know, begun to form in that bitumen. And it's actually exactly what happens to our gut. If we're continually eating, you know, maybe eating big meals or eating kind of at, you know, strange times of the, the night that our body's not used to kind of it, it happening, then over time, something called leaky gut or intestinal permeability can occur where we have these tiny kind of holes kind of start to form in the, the layers of our, of our, of our uh, digestive tract. So what happens is uh, the tiny kind of mucous membranes and cells and microvilli, which are just tiny little hairs within that the surface, don't actually get a chance to kind of heal. So, and again, over time, this can lead to, you know, things like uh, leaky gut or intestinal permeability, which can lead to inflammation and all different types of, you know, kind of chronic health conditions later on. So we really kind of need to be a little bit mindful of, you know, the when and kind of, and how often we're eating. Because also our gut, it doesn't actually digest and process foods in the same way as it does during daylight hours as it does during the night. Uh, you know, and studies have kind of shown that, you know, we, if we're eating more during daylight hours or within our circadian rhythms, it helps to kind of reset our body clock, um, you know, in our brain and kind of synchronize it with all of the other clocks without our, in our body, which kind of basically helps our body kind of perform or function as it, you know, you're like a finely tuned orchestra, which is what we want as opposed to a band that might, you know, sound a little bit out of tune. So you might be wondering, Audra, are you suggesting that I kind of don't eat any food at all during the night? I'm not suggesting that at all, although I've had clients that have chosen to do it and it you know, works quite well for them. Now, what I'm really suggesting is kind of just having that knowledge to begin with that you know, your, your digestive system doesn't function at the same capacity during the night time that it does during the day. So maybe just choosing a bit more wisely about the type of foods that you eat. So things that aren't going to burden the digestive system too much. So, you know, warm soups, small serves of maybe like a slow cooked meal that's been kind of pre-broken pre down, um, smoothies, yogurt, just things that are going to be really soothing on the gut. Because if you start kind of incorporating that and maybe not eating quite so much during those irregular hours, I'm pretty sure that you will actually start to notice that your gut will you know start to improve and, and not feel quite as um you know distressed as it as what it might be if you're eating kind of continuously 24 7. well i hope you found that interesting and a little bit insightful uh, if, you, if you want more resources feel free to visit my blog at healthyshiftworker.com otherwise i will see you next week okay bye